Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For those that don't know, I'm Talisi May. This YouTube channel is massively detailing related. I've got a mobile valeting company and also a detailing studio and a detailing shop. The YouTube channel is basically revolved all around cars um, while providing you loads of sort of different uh, car related content and business content as well. My missus car behind me, so if you've seen the concourse video, you would have seen that we took this up to London and um, was embarrassed for all the cars in the car park because we were surrounded by Rolls Royces and stuff like that. And then we people pulled up in a pink Vauxhall Corsa. It's been a rainy day. I called off all the jobs. Um, I was supposed to be out mobile valeting and then it, the weather was just an absolute nightmare this morning. And unfortunately, you know, there's just no point, no hassle trying to even attempt to try and clean cars in that. Um, so I've had quite a productive morning, been at the unit, sorting some number plates out, sorting the shop out and accounts and stuff like that. Um, the missus has been nagging on at me about doing the car and to be fair we're going up to Salon 5 um, concourse this weekend so it needed to be looking nice. Um, so the plan for this I'll show you around it in a sec, it's absolutely hanging. We're actually taking off the pink wrap, um, I'm going to deep clean it inside because where Lord's been he's absolutely trashed it and the outside needs a good clean as well. And so what I thought I'd do in this video is just show you all um, my steps and my procedures of how I clean a car, um, what I do to sort of a shampoo seats, um, how I uh, remove vinyl and just how I do sort of a general outside detail obviously whilst you expose the elements. It is still a little bit spitting here at the minute and um, it's not raining as like it was this morning um, but it is definitely you can feel it in the air um, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, this video turns out like and hopefully it don't rain too bad. So I'll show you the state of the car now so you can see what I've got to part with this afternoon to try and clean this and then we'll go from there. So I've got set up I basically, obviously, I had to pick up this car for my missus' work, so I had to drop my van off um, and then, well, come here first, empty all my stuff. And I've just realised that I forgot a couple of things, um, like snow foam, like I'm out of that snow foam there, and just a few other bits. So I do need to get sorted before I start. Um, so I've got some products here, um, got the all my other bits there and stuff, so I just need to sort it all out, ready to start the job. Um, got my Kranzel, um, absolute nightmare bit of kit, as you can see here. Got a new hose. So basically this hose split um, on me on a job the other day and this Kranzel has been nothing but problems. Like, it's been an absolute nightmare. Anyone who ever recommended me a Kranzel in the past, you're just absolutely having a laugh, aren't you? Like, what a nightmare bit of kit. I want to talk to you about that, actually. If there's any mobile valeters on there looking for a decent and reliable pressure washer, do not buy the Kranzel. Like, I've had so many problems with that Kranzel. Even my £50 cartridge has never had that many issues with it. Literally, so that, it blew up on us once. Um, and then the plug went again, it was getting no power to it whatsoever, so my brother had to rewire it all. And then now, the third time, the hose is split. It's like a three-month-old machine, and it's cost about a grand all in so far to get it fixed and all that sort of stuff, and to obviously buy it as well. It's just the most unreliable bit of kit ever. It's like having a missus, a really high maintenance missus. Might look really nice, but just causes you loads of problems. You just don't need it. You just need something that'll work, you can rely on, and it does a good job as well. So I'll probably be flicking back to a cartridge or something like that, because that, absolute nightmare. But I've got it here today, um, and I'm gonna connect up to what I've got over there. Um, this is the state of the interior. It's absolutely feel. Oh, I've got forgot my lunch. I need that in a minute. I'll be chilling with Mackey's. Got myself a little Mackey's. New silver cheeseburger as well. Looking forward to tasting that. But look, Lord has absolutely trashed this car. Like it is hanging. When I say Lord, it's us really because we needed to keep on top of it. But she even got a handbag in the back. Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be shampooing all this, hoovering it all, cleaning all the plastic, sorting these mats out. Anyone who's got these mats, yeah. Don't buy them. Don't buy £20, £30 mats off eBay. They are crap. These thin pile ones, they're such a nightmare to hoover. And if you're a detailer, you'll know, or a valeter, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. These are an absolutely pain to hoover. You could be there for weeks trying to hoover these. So I'll be taking all these out. I'll probably pressure wash these and then scrub. Um, but they're just too far gone. God, they're, in, they're only less than a year old and they're just too far gone. Like the pile on it is absolutely crap. Um, so I'll be taking the roof wrap off. Um, I actually did do this roof wrap. It was back when I was going to tinker with wrapping and see where I could go with it. And then I gave up. It was just an absolute nightmare to do. Um, and it was just more hassle than what it's worth. So um, for those of you who used to know, I did try and do a bit of wrapping, but like I say, too much hassle. This is coming off anyway. Uh, Mrs. is bored of it. I think at the minute it just looks probably a bit too tacky, especially when we're like trying to drive to nice places and stuff and driving around with a pink wrap car. Obviously the exterior is going to be all deeply cleaned. Um, I'm having that lunch now, I'm starving. 
She's got the gaiters on there. She's done a nice job of curbing them, so she's getting her money's worth there. I don't know if you can see that. They were a proper pink ones, so hopefully when they clean up, they will be quite nice. Obviously, I painted the calipers as well. Once again, they were pink once, and now they're like black because she's absolutely ruined this car. Look at the state of it. So hopefully, we'll make a really nice result on this. Big up Talisy's detailing for the plates as well. So, yeah. Savage. Definitely needs a good clean. What's the steering wheel like? Normally you get loads of foundation and stuff like that on there. Not too bad to be fair. And sometimes around here as well. Again, not too bad. We see it all the time. Oh, there you go, look. You get little bits of like foundation and grease building up. Mainly on obviously um, women's steering wheels and stuff. But I think this will come up really nice. So yeah, hopefully have a happy missus um, the time we finish. Lord, come here, come here. This is the culprit, come here. Come here, what's this? Come here. You wanna say hello? So this is the culprit of trash in the car. What have you got to say, Lord? Lord, you right? Everyone loves you on the channel, they wanna see more. Don't we on the mat, don't we on the mat, don't we on the mat. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have my lunch now, and then I'm gonna crack straight on with this car. What I normally like to do, Start the interior first because then you can shampoo it all. Um, I'm going to quickly flip this round just so I can see myself. Otherwise, I could end up pointing like that. So, like I said, I'm going to start shampooing the seats and do all the interior first because then when you come on to doing the outside, um, hopefully the interior will be dry by the time you give it back. So, if you're doing a mobile valet and you've got to shampoo the seats, um, what I'd probably suggest is do the interior first and then you get all the seats shampooed and then do the outside then by the time you've hopefully finished the seats should be dry which will be ready to obviously hand back to the customer so I'm going to smash on, crack on with the interior now, smash that out and then start taking this roof wrap off um, and then get the exterior cleaned up as well Well I'd never do this in a customer's car obviously I wouldn't order Mackey's and sit in the car and eat it but quick update, triple cheeseburger, a vibe Right so I'm just about to start the interior of this car um, I've cleared out all the belongings and got rid of all the rubbish. Um, Lord's out playing with a bottle, um, so if you can hear that in the background, that's him. Um, what I'd say, if there's any mobile valets out watching this, because I know there's quite a few sort of people who are newly starting up um, a mobile valet company or a detailing company, um, my little tips, I suppose, of doing the interiors of cars. Um, any belongings, obviously, bag up. Try and bag up like money and stuff like that separately, either put it in the glove compartment um, or just stick it in a bag and then put it in the boot at the end and obviously just make the customer wear that their belongings all in a bag or in the glove box because they're going to message you out and go, where's my hairbands or where's my money or whatever. So make sure obviously you do tell them after where you've put their stuff. Um, with receipts, I don't tend to bin receipts to be fair because obviously a few people are self-employed. Um, so just keep any receipts, any obvious receipts like, I don't know, like, I don't know, takeaway down at your local kebab shop, you're probably not going to claim tax back on that. So bin any receipts like that, but um, the last thing you want is bin in everyone's receipts and then they go, well, I needed them for my tax return. So put people's receipts in with their belongings and then obviously anything that's obviously rubbish, do bin. But what I'd say at the minute is obviously you need to message your customers before and get them to remove all the rubbish and their belongings beforehand because um, because of this situation that's going on with obviously COVID and stuff like that, I don't actually know whether you're allowed to say about the quote on the channel Ben you'll have to edit bleep that bit out because um, I know a few YouTube channels are, or a few videos are getting like highlighted for talking about it and I don't want to be one of them so Ben you're watching this bleep out where I've said the big C um, where else I getting to yeah so people's belongings and rubbish you want to message them beforehand to get them to remove it um, particularly their rubbish because you don't want to be taking that away from you especially if it's contaminated and stuff like that um, it's just trying to like not spread different things across those different locations obviously make sure obviously you wear gloves and you wash your hands i'm not bothering on this because mrs car we live together um i'm not really that worried but obviously you need to make sure you wash your hands before and after doing um the interior on a car and obviously just wash down your products and stuff like that after but that's another enough on that i just thought i'd give you a little tip um to tell you what i do obviously about people's belongings and their rubbish um, and just let you know that now with the situation that's going on um, probably best advice to get the customers to sort it all out beforehand and it's just a case of you cleaning their car so I'm going to crack on now we'll flick over to some time lapses of me shampooing these seats and we'll see how well they come up my plans to hoover it all shampoo it all finish with the plastics
Right, so as you would have seen from that very quick time lapse, um, the seats are shampooed, I'm just allowing them to dry now. I didn't realise that the, um, the time lapse was going to go as quick, so I should have changed it in the settings. Um, but I just set it to how it was, and just didn't realise until after that it was only like five seconds, and I kind of want it to be a bit longer. Thought I'd use a little pink cloth on this car because it's got loads of pink on it. Um, to be fair, I've left a load of cloths in the van because obviously I said earlier that I switched over and I'm not got any decent ones, I'm just trying to use the ones that I've got. Um, and I thought the pink one would work quite well. So I just thought I'd talk to you as I'm doing and cleaning the interior of this car. Um, so obviously anyone who's looking at like uh, mobile valeting or upholstery cleaning and just general stuff like that, this video is probably mainly more for you just so you can see like what I do um, how I do it and just stuff like that really so you would have seen in that previous time lapse that um, I shampooed the seats I sprayed some product down onto the seats moved on to the next one allowed it to sort of um, sit in and then um, I went back to it to obviously scrub and shampoo it I used the George uh, Hoover probably the best Hoover I've ever had I've never had any issues with them I'm like the crayons all crash or sure but um, I used the George what I do so you can in the George Hoover you can use obviously the function in there to spray the water through but it just takes time it doesn't spray out very good so what I do Sam's detailing bottle which obviously we sell in the shop um, I use the poor boys APC the all-purpose um, cleaner um, dilute it down into a bottle and then use that pretty much for all the plastics and the seats as well because it's not like too strong of the smell some people don't like really like strong smelling fabric cleaners but this one does a good job on the seats and just sort of leaves like a, a neutral smell it's still got a bit of scent to it um, like a citrusy base but it's not too strong and then obviously use a little bit less on the plastics dilute a little bit um, dilute a little bit more to use on all the plastics and stuff so like I said earlier, I shampoo the seats and then I go around all the plastics because you don't want to go around all the plastics and then shampoo the seats and then you find that you have to buff back all over the plastics because there's loads of marks from the shampoo on there. Um, so like I said, I use a, a mixer bottle with that and then obviously just scrub down. To scrub the um, seats and stuff, I either use the upholstery brush or one of these like dishcloth type brushes. It's got one of our hairs in it because they're absolutely everywhere in this car. So I use one of these um, and I use them on sort of the harder to sort of the more ingrained dirt on the plastics and the seats as well. Um, people will tell you all sorts in the detail industry. People will tell you loads of different things about brushes and stuff. But um, sometimes you can just get away with just using like a dish brush. This ain't too aggressive, but it's decent enough to get stains out of seats and sort of like the lower plastics on the floors and the uh, bottoms of the doors and stuff like that. So I'm just wearing onto the brush and I've got like an interior brush which we also sell in the shop. So everything I'm using where we sell in the shop so I'll link it down below so you can check them out if you're interested in them. Just wear a little bit of product onto the brush and then just agitate all the areas especially like obviously where people have their drinks um, and stuff like that because obviously drinks spill so these areas get obviously absolutely filthy. So you just want to like spray onto the brush um, pretty much literally just doing that agitating all the dirt around and then wiping off with your cloth and then what I normally do after after I've done the whole car just buff back around it make sure and all the marks are fully gone so I'm going to continue around the plastics now um, with the steering wheel I also obviously spray onto this brush and then um, like wipe it all around and wipe it in the last thing you want to be doing with the spray bottle is getting this and absolutely soaking the steering wheel area the radio the electrics because if you go i've seen it before where people have like literally been like this and they video themselves spraying all in agitating all the um product into the into the plastics and you think on this steering wheel here i'll show you quick so you've got you've literally got so if i was to start spraying this into these areas here that's obviously your cruise control, uh, your volume, your speaker to your phone, and obviously you've got your sat nav and all your locking systems in there. So if I start going spraying all this around, I'm just gonna completely bugger all of these electrics and that is not what I wanna do. So I normally just get the brush and then just agitate all the dirt, obviously sprayed onto the brush, agitate all around and you start to see that it's not like 100% clear because obviously there is dirt on there. So you agitate all that around, get rid of all the foundation, all the sanitizer that people have been using or sun cream in the summer and then agitate like that and then like now you can wipe over there and then you can wipe it off and you're not risking absolutely caking all these areas in water and, uh, and products so just wipe the steering wheel back around and then what you do after it's dry just double check that it's all clean so what i'll do i'll continue around obviously with the sprayer and the brushes 
I'll just continue on all the all the plastic, spray onto this, wipe all around, um, do all these vents, buff up over the vents and stuff, and then yeah, just get it looking spanking. So I'll switch over to a time lapse now. Um, we'll go with these plastics cleaned. So the car is all done, all the plastic has been cleaned, the seats have been shampooed and the carpet has been hoovered and shampooed as well. So it's definitely looking loads better. I'll show you around the other side. It's just drying out at the minute. You right, Lord? What's she been up to this afternoon? She's been walking around trying to find things to, to eat really. But like I say, all the carpets have been shampooed, plastics have been cleaned, steering wheel's looking loads better, it's actually looking black again, because um, these do go a little bit white from like foundation, sun cream and stuff like that. So... Right, so it's now time to start the roof, getting rid of this pink roof wrap and getting it back to how the paint was before. Um, the only thing I've realised is I haven't got any tools to take off the aerial or the brake light, which is annoying. So I'm going to have to try and like tuck in and pick out any of the loose vinyl um, that's stuck in, in between them areas because when I wrapped it, it obviously took everything off um, for a better finish. But I'm about to take off the roof wrap now. Right, so you'll have to forgive me, I'm cutting off this video a lot shorter than what I'd hoped. Um, obviously, from the last clip, I started a bit of fluff on the screen there. I started to do a wash on the Corsa, um, but then as soon as I started washing it, literally it got so dark, by like seven o'clock, it was like darkness. So I couldn't really sh film anything, I couldn't really show you and talk about anything that I was doing. Um, it was cold, it was dark, so it would have just been a pointless video, me doing it. And then yesterday I thought, right, I'll finish off the video yesterday evening. Um, I finished earlier because I had the dentist. 
um, but I didn't know that I was going to end up with a numb mouth because um, I had like anaesthetic in my mouth which lasted about three hours so I couldn't do um, a video yesterday either because it would just look like I was gurning or something like that for the whole time that I was doing the video so I've had to cut this video off completely short um, but I had a bit of an epiphany yesterday I think that's how we call it um, I thought whilst obviously I'm doing these like tips and trick videos or whilst I was doing this video I thought about doing like a tips and tricks um, like style series um, and I think that's what I'll continue on after this video so I'll probably call this video something along the lines of obviously tips and tricks with Talisee um, or something like that so what my ideas is now obviously I was talking through earlier on in the video about um, how I do things um, the way I go about doing different things and stuff like that so I actually had a bit of a thought to think actually I could make like a series out of this so it's actually worked out quite well because obviously yesterday I would have just gone through all of my tips and tricks so now what I'm thinking of doing is I'll film loads of different videos um, exterior, interior, upholstery cleaning, waxing, ceramic coatings all that sort of stuff and just do like a series um, of tips and tricks the way I'll do it um, and anything that I've got to say about doing it or ways of making it easier, products to use um, and all that sort of stuff so I think I'll make a series out of that for the YouTube channel. Um, I'll call it like Talisee's Tips and Tricks um, and I'll show you the ways I do different processes obviously to do with detailing and I could also do like tips and tricks um, with a bit more business side of it because I know a few of you are starting mobile valeting companies so I've got detailing companies and stuff like that and want to know more about how I do things and stuff like that so maybe as well as doing like physical work I can also do tips and tricks on the admin side of it as well which I think will actually work out really well. So. Obviously, I've had to cut this video off short. You'll see now, I'll show you the car and I'll talk to you around what I've... my camera's gonna fall off there. So I started it on Wednesday. It's now Friday afternoon, so it has had some use. Um, and I haven't put any protection on this because I didn't have a chance. So now it's covered in dirt and stuff like that. So a bit pointless me doing it really, but it needed to be done. Um, but at least you've got some sort of insight into how I do the interior and bits like that. And at least now you can see the result. And to be fair, if there's one thing to come from this video that you can take away... Oh, the Lord just jumped out of nowhere. You made me jump then. Where have you been? He's been up in the field probably. He literally made me jump, son. Get off them then. If there's one thing that you can take from this video, don't buy these mats. So I've actually taken the mats out of this car and they're going in the bin because they are just pointless. I absolutely hate these, that's going in the bin as well. I absolutely hate these mats. If there's one thing you take from this video, don't buy these mats. And if you're a valeter starting to do these mats, um, just give up with them, just say to customer, look, you need to go out and buy some decent mats because I, I didn't even bother wasting my time trying to hoover and then blast these off because they're just hassle. Can't be bothered with it. So they're going straight in the bin. So at least that's one thing you take away from this video. Um, but as you can see the car is fully cleaned, um, the interior is not looking like it was um, in a previous video that I showed you so I'm glad I did do a little walk around of that after but the outside is definitely looking loads better compared to what it was. Obviously the roof wraps safely off, I need to get this area off and take all this wrap underneath here because I didn't have any tools and I still forgot to get tools so I do need to take this off and get underneath there but everything else is all gone, all the glue has gone and stuff like that so it is looking really good. Um, so yeah, should be happy with that. Just got to keep it like that now, which that will probably last a couple of days. So we're going off to the Salon Privé tomorrow um, to their concourse event. So we're really looking forward to that. Obviously we're going up in the car, so this car's probably going to be filthy by then, but it's nice that the pink roof wraps off and it's been cleaned, so it'll be a better place to sit in. So like I said, I'm sorry that this video is cut short. Um, it's not how I wanted it to be, but at least now, um, I know what I'm going to be doing from here onwards in terms of um, these series of videos where I'll be doing loads of tips and tricks, using products from the shop, um, showing you how I use them and just showing you how I do different methods. Um, so at least there's one, one good thing that's come from this video. So I hope you have liked watching what it has been so far, um, but obviously do please note that from here onwards I'll do loads of tips and tricks videos, um, which I think will get, which I think will benefit um, a wide range of viewers as well. So thanks for watching anyway. Um, Please do give it a like if you have enjoyed watching it and make sure you hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, do check out our social medias, obviously, Talisee's Detailing, Winslow Park Detailing. I've got my brother set up on a business page now as well, so he'll be promoting all the Talisee's Detailing work and Winslade as well. So, so please do check them out and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Ciao.